<clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Look, um, y'all know I always have to speak my mind when I hear something that's so fucking asinine. Okay? Listen. This goes out to everybody who's still on that fuck shit. If someone is lying about you, if someone has put out a bullshit ass lie, like say you assaulted somebody, you raped somebody, you murdered somebody, you stole from somebody, whatever the, the case may be, and it bothers you so, 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 so fucking much that you gotta click a link, you gotta click a live, you gotta regurgitate the same shit over and over and over and over again. One thing about me, if anybody was to say some bullshit like that about me, say that I hurt someone, I did someone, as foul as, let's say, an assault, prove that person that said that shit out to be the fucking liar you're claiming them to be. That's on any type of allegation, right? What fucks and what really irritates my soul about people just in general, the way people like to prolong shit, to procrastinate, to like to dangle the carrots in front of those of you who listen and maybe even soak up that foul ass, lying ass information that they give you. And that's fine. Either you're just that gullible to believe it. Or you just like the entertainment. Either way, it's a fucked up thing. It's fucked up how individuals, men and female, can go and talk about the R word like I say all the time, like changing your fucking draws. But the way you people degrade that word, especially you females. I heard one skank on her, her, on her panel talking about where is the woman that was supposedly assaulted where she at again it shows the immaturity and the ignorance of that person i'm passionate about sexual assault and there is no reason for me to explain why you people know why but this is not even about that this is about stop being punk ass motherfuckers male or female if I could get to any of the three motherfuckers that you all know that I despise with all my fucking heart and they were literally in the same city and state as me, oh, there would be plenty of knocks on the motherfucking door. And I'm a woman. And I'm not afraid to knock on anybody's fucking door when you say some foul shit about me or mine and I can touch you. And that goes out to any of you. Especially those of you who don't find it troublesome to initiate people having fights and arguments off of the YouTube. That's where it needs to stay. However, if you got your panties or your drawers or your jock straps in a motherfucking bunch because people are claiming that you have done something that you say you did not do, you have that power to prove that person a liar. And what is better than that satisfaction of proving the person that said the shit about you a liar. You can shut it all the fuck down right now. But I think y'all like this shit. I think y'all like the arguing, the arguing and being upset and the going back and forth. And if that's what y'all like, carry on. Press on and be motherfucking happy. But if somebody's saying something to you not one time, not two time, not three time, put your peoples up, and yet you still talking shit behind that screen. Again, the shoe fits, wear it. If it don't, throw that motherfucker in the closet. I am who I am and I'm going to speak on what I want to speak on. And that's some fucked up shit. Can you people at least respect the fact that there are sexual assault victims out there, young and old, who every time y'all say that, in the matter that you do, you are re-victimizing them and us all over again. Keep that in mind while you kiki and ha-ha. Have a good night. Have a nice day. 
or at least try to. Peace.